thank you and thank you for the opportunity to speak tonight. It is a great pleasure and I want to begin by congratulating the Transport Forum on the work that it does running these forums around the metropolitan area. I also want to acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, uh, not just the two on the panel, uh, but also Inga Palish, Neil Burgess, Brian Painter, uh, MPs and candidates Anne-Marie Hermans and Susan Saray, and I want to... Vicky Vicky as well, Vicky Fitzgerald as well, and indeed the Mayor, um, who has um, uh, been a great advocate. And I want to begin by saying that I think the City of Casey has played a very important role locally in this recent period. Their Commit to Casey campaign has been a very important one, and I pay tribute to their gutsy effort to go out and call for a, a, a real focus on public transport in your area. And that call has been heeded, and we have made the commitment that we will not only um, extend the rail line from Cranbourne uh, to Cranbourne East and to Clyde, but we will also uh, duplicate the line uh, back to Dandenong. All of these are important. The very clear message is at this state election people will face the clear choice of having the duplication and the extension or the alternative of simply the duplication. Um, I say that there is more to do uh, in the extension there to actually get our transport hubs right here. We need car parking at the railway stations. We need to make sure, we need to make absolutely sure that the bicycle uh, connections and the foot connections to the new stations are first rate so that people who live nearby are able to uh, get to those um, uh, uh, destinations and then have the mobility that is so important. And I have met with the City of Casey to talk about their input into implementing our plan to make sure that we get the very best outcome uh, for the community. It is only by listening, uh, not only to my parliamentary colleagues and, and candidates, but most importantly to the council and to the community as well, that we will get the very best outcome that we all desire. Uh, but um, transport is not just rail, it is also uh, those other connections, bicycles and foot connections and buses. And I really and I agree with one thing my colleague there said, which was about the importance of buses, and we will certainly be focusing on that. I mean, I had a conversation with Brian Payne the other day after he'd done days and days of door knocking through parts of his electorate. Um, it is very clear that there is massive um, uh, underreach by the buses, and people are unable to get reliable bus services. And we will be having much more to say about that as we come towards the election. And this is something that we are committed to. Our people in your area, in Casey, in Cardinia, deserve to have the public transport that brings you the right sort of lifestyle, that actually gets you onto public transport, gives you, gives you that option. Uh, it is true that it is not only about public transport, but we also need to make sure that we've got sufficient road connections to. And the party has made a number of key commitments uh, with respect to roads. And there's, I, I think there's a, a brochure out there which will give you uh, some details about that. We're committed to uh, the Thompson's Road and Western Port Highway intersection to ensuring that that is separated. And the Hall Road and Western Port uh, Highway connection these are both very important roads to make sure that people can move and get the, um, the connectivity that is um, required. I also note that we've made the commitment to um, many of the large uh, roads through uh, other parts of the city that connect down our, our city up more successfully. The North East Link is important. We've also committed to the East West Link. And that is important to enable people from this area of the world uh, to get to the airport, to get to uh, the western side of the city, to get to all of the places that they need to get to. Uh, this is about a balanced development statewide. It's about a recognition that our population is growing at a very fast rate. And it's worth pausing to think about what those numbers are. Last year, the population in Victoria grew at 143,000 people extra in one year. Biggest, the last two years, the biggest growth 
in the state's history in raw numbers. Bigger than the gold rush, bigger than the, uh, the 50s or the 60s, and we need to respond to that. We need to manage that growth, and we need to make sure that we've got a, a policy that, that sees land available in our areas around the edge of the city, but also make sure that the decentralisation focus that the opposition has, um, has brought forward is, is a part of what happens to many of our regional cities can take a bit of that load off Melbourne with the huge population growth. 90% of that 143,000 is in Melbourne, and the Greater Melbourne area. So that growth is huge and we are recognising that um, across our um, regions to say we've got to have balanced development, it means more roads, it means more rail, um, not only the extension uh, to Clyde, but um, Neil Burgess uh, worked very hard to get um, support from both federal um, government and also state opposition for the extension of the rail line from Frankston to Baxter. These are, are critical long-term steps that will actually put in place a, a city that has the, the connectivity, that actually has the uh, options for people uh, to use. Now, I'm interested to hear from people in the community about implementing our plans. Uh, we <coughs> want to get the very best outcome. That means actually listening to councils and it means listening uh, to the um, communities as well. We want to make sure that we maximise the outcome uh, for each of these um, important steps that we will, uh, we will take. Um, I should say, uh, more broadly, we will be uh, focusing on how we can actually get more land available too. Uh, within the UGB, there is significant land and we will bring much of that forward. That will actually help manage the cost for many uh, young families, we see transport and planning as um, as interlinked, uh, not um, separate. Thank you.